So the world is crazy today. Uh, there's a lot of political issues all around. What's the answer of the new MoMA to that? <laughs> <laughs> you have a role and a vision of the world, right? Well, we certainly do. And I think that the work we're doing as curators inevitably is about the world we live in today yes. as much as the work that we're looking for um, pleasure and, and um, all sorts of uh, experiences from the past. So no matter what we're doing in the galleries at the moment, I think we're looking at the history of art of these last 100 and some years from the perspective of how we're feeling at this moment and you feel that reflected oh in in the way that the rooms are installed i think there's probably um the most obvious answer to that in the mixture of the mediums so the 20th century habit that we had of having photography over here and video over there and architecture and somewhere else, that doesn't feel authentic to today mm -hmm. because I think all of us now realize that there's such an intermixing of approaches even in the work a single artist does or at a certain moment. and. The idea of imposing the classifications of the institution onto the experience of our viewers as they're looking at the artworks feels wrong. But I think that's because partly today in a digital world, we're used to simultaneous experience from one second to another. And something that might have felt discontinuous or jarring or kind of, um, like a bad jump 30 years ago, today is an absolute mirror of how we exist as we go from screen to screen or screen to real life or here to there via um, the internet. And so our brains literally are working more differently than um, we ever could have imagined, like even 10 years ago. But you think you have done a real revolution with a new hanging of the permanent collection here? Oh no, I would not call it a revolution. I would call it a transformation. But um, no, um, I don't think it's a revolution because in fact, what we have are these amazing works of art that have been in the collection, many of them 80 or more years, some mm -hmm. of them not even one year. Um, and we're presenting them to the public, which is exactly what we've seen as our mission since day one. And what was the starting point of making a 21st century museum? I think the starting point for us was to say, in our own case, that the collection had to return to the heart of what it is that we do. Because for so many years, over say the past 20, 30 years, the temporary loan exhibitions so became the centerpiece of how we marketed ourselves, how we allocated our budgets, how we allocated our manpower. And these loan shows, which you could almost call show business, mm -hmm. became enough of a force that we stopped looking under our own noses at the thousands of things which our predecessors and we ourselves had devoted oodles of thought and care and money and conservation and storage, etc., to preserving it and to actually constituting the identity of the Museum of Modern Art. Nothing we do for loan exhibitions or for anything would be happening if we weren't who we are because of the art that we acquired and the art that we care for. So it was unfair. In it, a way. Was, it was unfair and for us it felt profoundly 
unbalanced. And that I would call a revolution, actually, that we decided that for our museum, certainly, but I think for museums in general, that maybe the focus on um, attracting tourists had gone and other things had gone too far to the side of let's put up a show mm. and we realized you know what's the best show what we already have and there is so so much to be learned and to be combed and to be revealed from our own storages that that's really really the job we have today as well as mounting all of the wonderful loan shows that will continue to mount but I do feel like it's almost like we had this sleeping, um, dormant beauty store of, of beauty <laughs> and, and of ideas and, and of human creativity.